Hey everybody, this is Barton with Yamaha Marine Center and Holmes and & Owen Yacht Sales. Today I'm going to be talking about Yamaha Outboard, specifically the 4.2 liter V6 engine. Uh, there have been some changes that took place in 2021 and moving into the 2022 model year and I thought I'd just, it's a little confusing, I thought I'd try to clarify what's going on with these motors. So. Um, Let's start with what's happened. Uh, Yamaha has introduced this uh, new generation of the 4.2 liter, and you're seeing it right here in this white motor. It's got the uh, revised cowling on it, um, has some other changes, but outwardly you're seeing the revised cowling. Uh, this is the predecessor to it. You can see this cowling is not as sculpted um, as, as this one. Um, also, uh, now Yamaha makes uh, an option of a full white motor or the full gray motor. Uh, the white's a little bit more money, um, but uh, it was, they were doing white motor, but the lower unit was still gray, but now they've gone with the full um, pearlescent white, very attractive motor. Um, so you don't have to have them custom painted white any longer. You pay a little bit more and get the factory white finish. All right, so let's talk about the, let's talk about some of the changes. So. This is a current model 4.2, but it's the old style, which they still make. Um, when you get this motor, uh, it's only available in a mechanical control. It's mechanically shifted, mechanical throttle. Um, the way you steer the engine is, that can be a little bit different, and that is one of the big changes for the 2022 motors. Um, so this motor has, a hydraulic cylinder down here. So this cylinder that you're seeing is a hydraulic steering cylinder. Um, what has now become available um, for a bit more money, um, and it's not available from Yamaha per se, is an external um, electric steering cylinder. So it would replace the hydraulic portion with something that looks similar, uh, but it would be strictly electric. It's from Seastar. Um, and that is also uh, available depending on the boat manufacturer as a potential option. This is a Key West. This one is only available with the hydraulic system, not with the electric system, at least not at this point. So this is the, this is the motor that's been out for a number of years. Um, still available, uh, certainly through the 2022 model year. Uh, the power head is the same power head. So this new motor, this is the new motor. Uh, what's underneath the cowling, it's the same power head. There's no change there. There may be some s little subtle differences with um, a water alarm system, a water in the fuel alarm system, things like that. But the, the power head itself is the same power head. There has been a change in the lower unit. Uh, just real quick, um, this upper vent that you're seeing here, what uh, Yamaha is trying to do is get better performance in reverse for these motors. Historically, the exhaust is coming out of the lower hub here. When you put that in, when you put the motor in reverse, this exhaust is coming out, uh, putting bubbles around the propeller. The propeller cavitates, so you don't have as much thrust in reverse. What they're doing is they're diverting the thrust in reverse, so that the uh, excuse me, they're diverting the exhaust in reverse, so that the exhaust is bending up here. You're not getting as much of it down here, so you get a lot more power. I think it's 30% more power in reverse. I can tell you personally, running the boats. They are quite a bit faster in reverse than they have been in the past, much less cavitation. You'll see that this is, that is not the case with this uh, older generation motor. These are simply vents, but it's not uh, doing, it does not have the same feature to it that you're getting in the new motor. All right, so let's switch to the other big change. So this motor, um, you can see with the white and the cowling, um, here's a gray version of that motor. See, it's the same cowling, same exhaust system for the lower unit. But if you go up here and you look at the steering, the steering is simply the hydraulic system. So this motor is a fully digital motor. So it's digital shift, digital throttle. Um, but it has hydraulic external steering on it. You could also potentially from the manufacturer get an external electric cylinder. From there, you move up to this engine. It doesn't have to be white, it can be gray, as the other engine could be white also. Um, this one not only is digital shifting and throttle, but it also has this integrated digital electric steering, 
which is this large cylinder here. Let me see if I can get around here. You can see it. That large cylinder. And that's all integrated into um, the transom assembly. There's nothing else you have to put on this. So this allows you to steer the motor. This is the steering cylinder. And you have electric steering on this boat. At the helm, there's um, uh, electric. The, the, the steering wheel looks the same, but the, the feel of it is different. It is electric. It has a very linear uh, feel to it. Um, this is also the system that would be used for steering if you're using Helmaster today, the new Helmaster system. Um, it, uh, it is designed for this particular electric steering. I've been told that Helmaster, the new Helmaster system, would also potentially work with the external electric steering cylinder. It does not work with the hydraulic steering cylinder, this cylinder. Uh, so Helmaster will not work with this. You have to have um, electric steering. Uh, and as far as Yamaha is concerned, preferably you want to have the Yamaha integrated electric steering for the Helmaster system. So that is just a quick rundown of the, some of the changes, let me get another angle, some of the changes to these Yamaha motors, very reliable, just as bulletproof of motors you could possibly want, very fuel efficient, um, and uh, that is the latest and greatest. So I appreciate you watching, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and uh, if you have any, uh, like to speak with us directly, feel free to give us a call or text us. Thank you so much. See you next time.